All right, today I'm gonna have a little chat with the boys about turbos and the D. Here we go. Turbo or not? This is a tough decision. It's not a tough decision. <laughs> <laughs> Can we make it fit or not? <laughs> but if you customize something that would fit and ran the turbo right up front, snug, and then you might be able to just run it in line this way. And AC condenser and yeah. Well, the AC condenser we run in the boot. Be a very shorty, tight header situation. Yeah. Well, you know, we can always run this through the R and D department and uh, oh, yeah, and uh, <laughs> take it over to the quality control center and see if those guys can help. Perfect. I'll get my other hat. Yeah. Just sit here and scratch your heads for about an hour, mm -hmm. and then see if it. It, it just goes in. Yeah. In here too, How there's also yeah, the fender. Yeah. If you can get tubing in and out of this, Creative. then yes, there's uh, there's potential for stuff to live there. Mm -hmm. Tricky, but it's been done. Mm -hmm. I like the idea of keeping the turbo low, um, uh, down by the tranny somewhere. Keep the heat under the car. It would be kind of cool if we could. I swear to God, every time I Google images of minis, it's just pictures of our cars and they're just not helpful. <laughs> like, I'm looking for information, not for more pictures of the thing that I already have. This kind of low boost level, we can probably just tell Farable, like they've done this a million times. Exactly, um, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. So stick to that. Stick to... Fine. We don't need bigger injectors, we yeah. don't need this, we don't need that, blah, blah, blah. Less than 10 pounds, I don't think we need a different yeah. pressure regulator, we can keep... Kind of our, if we can keep this manifold, that's great. I think we can keep our fuel rail design. If we can get the turbo down low or someplace else, uh, there's a very good chance we can, which would bring R&D down. Yeah. From, and then just change our downpipe to be a turbo. And that would be super cool. Yeah. That's that's the dream. That's right? what I wanted to hear. Same yeah. manifold, different manifold, downpipe. Different, yeah, different downpipe. Would be okay. really cool. There you go. Um, and yeah, just run a basically stock ECU. It doesn't have to spend time on dyno at under 10 pounds, you don't really need yeah. that kind yeah. of, anything well, over that is, you know. Like, like I said, if we're getting into the B18 horsepower range, that's the goal here. Because the, the, a lot of people are like, well, I want a B18 because I want that horsepower. Well, this is the option. We already know this is the best drivetrain. Now, a little more power out of it rather than having to soup it up with the motor. More? I bet you probably get 40, 45% more with eight or 10 pounds of boost. Eight or 10? It, you probably get another 80 horsepower out of this thing. According to the internet, it looks like 200. Yeah. Like, but that's wheel horsepower, right? Uh, yeah, it's wheel horsepower. It's about 200. Yeah. Two, uh, pushing beyond that, you're starting to ask a lot of stock bottom end. My only thoughts go back to, the, to a time about five years ago when I did the last like turbo system from scratch sort of thing on a car and it was um, it was for a Buick Grand National Motor and it was a twin turbo mm -hmm. deal mm -hmm. and the fabrication was wonderful it was a work of art it was great you know that part of it was was fantastic but developing the car was a whole nother nightmare yeah we ended up um, a mm -hmm. little north of 500 horsepower we were trying to keep it reasonable well, how much horsepower. boost is that like 10 um, pounds 15 pounds. 15 okay yeah well if, yeah like that's a whole different game. It was a whole different game, but it made me realize that building a turbo is one thing and, you know, developing it's a whole other deal. That was my experience. We went through two engines. Yeah. Well, if we can circumvent that kind of shit, okay. that's that's yeah. what we need to do. I love your idea. Just, if we could just work on a new downpipe that's just a turbo add-on, guys. Yeah. yeah everyone good. wants that, you know, and that won't interfere with our AC system. Maybe. Wait, there's no wood to knock on. Oh. Yeah. The more we stare at it, I'm just like, how come there's no turbo in this thing? I mean, yeah. is Scott on the why are we sitting it? here talking? You know how much I want to have a twin turbo something? Yeah. Really? Every every one of these, every one of these that we do or have done, I'll call him up and be like, dude, you got a turbo kit for your car? It's a bolt on, sort of. Sort of. Yeah. There's a lot of DIYs out there that would love it, you know. Yeah. Build your own one. That's that's a huge thing of the mini community. I mean, they always turn out so good. Well, hey, there are <laughs> there are people out there that I'm sure are talented enough to make a nice one. But if they are, we're hiring. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> that's actually what this is all about. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna send the video out and tell everybody, anybody that thinks they can do this really well or better than us, come over. You're hired instantly. All the perks. You got Lacroix in the freezer, and you got you know lunch breaks every day. That's our, that those are our perks. All right, let's do it. Even, yeah. there's not like, there's I mean, a. I don't know what those, what the classification is. Yeah. 
seem like there's like five other giant projects. Um, you can tell this is a really high quality one because it has the weird <laughs> turbocharger written on it. Yeah. At least it's not spelled wrong. <laughs> There, plenty of room. Oh, perfect. Oh, yeah. No problem. Go. Definitely fits. If this just goes right here, like bolt on that, just sits right underneath. Everybody wants a turbo, everyone wants air conditioning. Not everyone's going to get it unless we put some R&D into it. And uh, I think we came up with a way to do it. So if you guys are out there and you're interested in one of our setups, we're going to do some pre-sales and uh, in order to make it happen. But